Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I was just out here walking around in the yard, and I could hear this bamboo rustling, making just the nicest little relaxing sounds with the wind blowing. Settled down now. Beautiful solar day. Little warm and a little muggy. All in all, not bad. So about five months ago, I introduced you all to this uh, ADC bat, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It was sent out to me by the company for a review. We tested it out. It works great. We ran, you know, the coffee maker, a few other things on it. You can go back and look at that video if you're interested. Suffice it to say, this battery's been just working perfectly. After I was done with those ex initial experiments five months ago, I put a full charge on this and then brought it out here and dropped it into uh, a system for part of the water delivery uh, system that we've got going on out here. And I've not put a single charge on it in five months. So I dropped it in here into this little container, little waterproof container. It's got a lid that goes over it. I put this MPPT 7515 Smart Solar Controller by Victron on it. There is no charge coming into it. I only put this on for a long-term experiment so I could monitor it uh, on the Bluetooth app and check the state of charge over time. So now it's been going for five months. And in this past five months, it has been used every day, at least twice a day, to run the reverse osmosis water filtration system that we use for drinking and cooking water out of our catchment system. And I just opened up the app. I will show you that that battery is sitting at 13.11 volts after five months. Started with a full charge. As you can see, there is no charge coming into that. I have not put a single watt into this battery for five months. And like I said, I just left this Victron uh, controller on here so I could easily uh, keep track of it over the months and see what how far it was going down. Now, I gotta say that this uh, reverse osmosis system that it's running, uh, the only thing that it's uh, doing is running that UV purification light on it. And what I do, I have this little uh, Best Tech 300 watt pure sine wave inverter tied into the battery as well as the, the controller only for monitoring purposes to do a long-term experiment. And sitting at 13.11 volts right now, uh, we can call this at least 40% full. It might even be a little closer to 50% full, but regardless, there's still plenty of charge in this after five months. It, which, it just gave me another idea about how to use these things. You can put them in a remote location, depending on what you're doing for a gate opener, water delivery, like we're using it for. And you may or may not need to charge it uh, that often. And I'm going to conclude this experiment, even though uh, my goal was to show how long that this particular battery would last in just one simple application without a single charge, I guess I could go almost to where it'd be almost a year. Uh, at any rate, I've got a different use for this now. I'm going to pull it out of here. I'm going to build a different system around this, and I'm going to need this charge controller to do that as well. So I'm going to conclude this experiment, but I just thought it was really uh, something to share with you guys at just how well these lithium iron phosphate batteries hold a charge. In five months, it has not, uh, you know, 
degraded its state of charge like a lead acid would. If you let the lead acid out here for for five months without putting a single charge on it, you'd come out here and you'd be very unhappy to see uh, how that battery was performing. It could actually ruin it and have a lot of degradation in five months without a charge. You know, lead acid loves to be charged up full every day and if it doesn't get that then it becomes unhappy very quickly. Not the case with these lithium batteries. This thing I could take this you know for the next several months and keep seeing how low that charge would go before the battery would stop which was my intention but time to conclude this experiment. I'm going to consider it a nice long-term experiment as it is. 13.11 volts five months not a single charge put in there. And I'll just show you real quick how I've been using this uh, uh, every single day, at least twice a day uh, for five months, and then some. <laughs> so I'm going to turn on this 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. That is on now. I can look. I don't know if it will show up. Yeah, you can see the little uh, green light that comes on indicating that my uh, UV sterilization light, which is the last stage of my uh, water purification on this reverse osmosis water system, which is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stage. Used to just use it as a six stage. I decided to put in the, the uh, UV light, which is back here in this. And I have to be fair, I mean, that light does not uh, draw much power. It draws about 11 watts when it's on. And then what I do is I just, just like that. Got about three gallons of uh, the purified water right there in the little holding tank. And we average about four or five gallons a day of using this. I drink a lot of water out here in the climate, of course, and then for, for cooking and other things, we know we have safe water to drink. So, and this is just coming out with the pressure that's in that pressure tank. It's not a huge hard stream, but the only draw on that ADC bat battery is that 11 watt UV light. Every morning come out here get the fresh water going for the coffee. Just a day. Just a regular day. So yeah, I'm going to take this off. going to start another little system, which I will show you guys in an upcoming video. Five months. Very good experiment. Just never goes down uh, like a lead acid. Don't have to worry about any degradation. No sulfide, sulfate corroding your plates inside. All the things we love about lithium iron phosphate. Yeah, we're going to conclude this experiment. Five months in the making, just watching it. <laughs> Those values just don't change very much. And of course, you know, this 11 watts that it's pulling. Oh, the 11 watts on the light bulb. This thing maybe draws, uh, I think it draws like right at about a half an amp just in a standby position. but. I only turn it on when we're going to be filling up some water. So, getting the fresh water. And I'm telling you, that makes great water. And if you've been watching this channel, you know we catch our water out here, rain water. We store it in a cistern. And we use every bit of it. And I will just mention that to uh, drive the water from the cistern into this uh, pressure tank. I've got a 12 volt pump out by the cistern. 
getting ready to revamp that system. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Pretty excited about it. It's going to be quite a big project. I'm trying to get myself psyched up to dig into that. But at any rate, the water gets to this point with a small 12 volt pump, also battery operated. But this is for the final process. And I had just been curious, how long would that thing go? A lot longer than this experiment took. <laughs> and that's just about all of the water I'm gonna pull off of that. It's getting to about a little over two gallons in there. Goes up to about three. Anyway, just some more food for thought on how you can deploy these lithium batteries. For out here, I don't even worry. I'm going to stick another one in here that is fully charged. Know that I'm going to be good for probably a year if I don't even put a charge on it. I'm not worried about putting a charge on it for, the, uh, for this delivery system at all. But that ADC battery, I give it high marks. It's done great. Used it in a lot of other experiments before. This one, and this one, like I said, I just wanted to do a very long term. Give you guys some different ideas. Doesn't hurt those batteries to be taken down like that, nice and slow. Just some more ideas. Aloha.